Hello, my Aries, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie, and I'm reading for April 28th through May 4th. Now, I have done my overview, big week, uh, and it is a big week. Big week, uh, leave the wheel, let the wheel go, or something like that. Watch it, because it talks a little bit about Mars in Aries. It talks a lot about Mars in Aries. So your energy should be amplified. Things are going to be happening this week. Now, remember, these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. So things are shifting, things are moving. Mercury is now direct in your sign. Uh, Mars is now transitioned to your sign. And, you know, your words are going to be very powerful. Your um, energies are going to be very, very powerful. And things, if you've been waiting on something, if you've been waiting on something, things are going to start moving quicker than you thought. Ah, oh, divine guidance, oh, hierophant energy. Now that did pop up in Sagittarius. So if you have any, if you cross watch, you know, take a peek, okay? Um, you, it, well, look at it as confirmation validation if you cross watch. Anyway, let's see what we've got. Some changes, changes to the justice system coming your way. Anyway, let's see what we have. Don't know what why I said that. I am not a lawyer and I do not do financial advice, but Higher power, Holy Spirit, what do you want to say to your Aries? What do you want to say to your Aries? Okay, and that one wants to stay? Okay, we're going to take this one too because that would have been at the top. But cards want to stay, cards want to stay. Anyway, let's see what we have. This one stayed. These two are reversed, so they have a little more oomph. Pay attention to the message. There is a change coming. We have a five. Five is change, change, change. Could be positive, could be negative. Archangel Sandalfin, believed to be um, to believe to be Elijah. If you want to know more, I talked about him in uh, Sagittarius. Elijah of the Old Testament. Okay, um, spoke God's word. Sometimes was afraid to. Sometimes was afraid to be strong. Sometimes would run back saying, "Please, please help me." So there was a strong connection. A strong. Um, there was a strong leaning upon God, even though Elijah di didn't do it quite in the way or the time, there was still a strong connection with God. So I'm going to say something about that is really popping with this divine guidance um, card. Now, divine guidance does mean divine guidance. You know, God, the, di the divinity is showing you your way. Do you follow it? Do you go that way? Now, when I see the Hierophant card and it's, you know, in its other version, I'm always thinking of the business of religion, the business of government, very strict, very strict, very, you know, very like this is the way, this is what you need to do, doesn't allow for you to think for yourself, doesn't allow for you to do what you know in your spirit and your gut. So something about, you know, divine guidance usually takes you out of that, okay, takes you out of that, um, that pathway. So it might be something about listening to your intuition, praying, meditating, but it's also about, you know, there's more to, there's more in, there's more meaning. I need to be doing something different. I'm not, I'm not going to accept the status quo. Those are the things I'm picking up with this card. So the search for the meaning of life, consider an alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So I always get very mixed up, mixed messages with this card sometimes it is so it is so um strict that i want to almost like oh stay away and sometimes it's kind of like it's like it's like breaking away from that structure anyway next card reversed four of raphael so we have a four stability organization and leadership raphael is water energy cancer scorpio we had you know the scorpio full moon that energy is still there also, this is Pisces, and Neptune is doing something. Neptune and Pisces is doing something this week also. So this is kind of that in-between stage. What do I do? Where do I go? My mother used to call this the fallow period. I'm getting ready for some changes, but I'm not. Re I'm not. But the change hasn't come yet. So there can be some. There can be some impatience with this. There can be some just boredom with this also. But so it's like I'm not necessarily the, the status quo. Again, I keep getting status quo, don't I? So breaking from the status quo. So it's like you know this is this is how things are. But I want more. I want something different. The thing about it is, you just have to look around. You have to take some action. And you can break free from that. 
Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. And remember, all of these are choices, our choices. Next card reversed, Queen of Ariel. Okay, so Queen of Ariel underlying, and Queen is a queen. Ariel underlying energy is water energy, water energy. Um, again, you know, the flowing, the, um, the flowing energy, spiritual, emotional energy. But Ariel in itself is earth energy. And that is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Taurus has a lot going on right now. There is, you know, that Uranus and Jupiter conjunction, you know, that's still, that energy is going to float forward. So there is some changes happening with that too. The Queen of Ariel says you need to take care of your business before you start taking care of anybody else's, okay? And remember the, ox, the um, flight attendant with the, with the airplane in the event of an emergency and the oxygen mask comes down, please place, place it on your face before helping anyone else because you have to help yourself in order to help others, okay? So there's, again, there's this break in, there's a break in your status quo. Things are shifting for you. You need to take care of your business and then you'll be able to take care of others, okay? Or you'll be able to help others too. So Queen of Ariel is mature practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. So take care of you and then you'll be able to take care of those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. And your fourth card here, peace, peace. Now this, I do believe we had this in the overview. I believe we did. 13, so we have eight, so we have five, four, one, three, one new beginning new chance, new pathway, new journey. Uh, 10, transition, things are transitioning for you. Zero of the 10 is God's source energy. Three, creation, celebration, the power of three. One plus three is a four, stability, organization, and leadership, peace, peace. So we're, we have this very strict government, business, religious type of energy, and we're, we're we're shifting over, taking care of ourselves, putting our own needs in place, and then we come to peace. This is considered also the death card. It does not mean the death of a person or anything like that. It means a change in something, a, 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 an ending that might be a little bit rough, but yet brings about a beautiful new beginning. So Archangel Azrael is the one that helps to shift. Archangel Azrael, is the one who help helps you shift into that new beginning, okay? Is taking you from that past. So it's not just taking you from the physical into the metaphysical, taking you from earth to heaven, but also can help you when something like, you know, a, a job just closes for you and you're like, what do I do? Azrael can help you to shift into that better place or a new job even, okay? I know that's very, it, it goes from something very big to something like very commonplace, but we have to, I mean, we're, we're humans and you know, whether, what did they say? Um, it's, we're, we're, we're humans. Um, we're physical beings having a spiritual journey. No, we're more spiritual beings having a physical journey. Okay. We are more spiritual and that's where we call in Azrael to help us. So this is about releasing the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So we go from divine guidance to let God. Something's shifting for you. Again, you're, you're going against the status quo. You are making, making changes. There are changes occurring all around you, my Aries. Okay, higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do you want to say to your Aries? These are your Aries. I know I called them my Aries, but your Aries, your Aries. What else do you want to say to your Aries? So interesting too that we have the beginning to that one. That's hmm. messenger of emotion. So this would be the page of water. So we know what water is. Underlying energy to the page or messenger is earth. So we know what earth is and we know what um, what the water energy is. So this is the page. Page is very enthusiastic, jumps in. A lot of times I'll say that the messenger of emotion leaps before she looks. But um, you know, but this is also bringing about a new change. Something something is shifting for you. 
You know, you're 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 putting your heart first. You're putting your wants and some of your and some of your desires first also. The messenger of emotion could also be that you're going to be getting a very spiritual or very emotional message that's just going to fill your heart with hope, okay? This is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could soon be on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle and loving with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Like I said, you could be getting a message, a spiritual message, you know, maybe in prayer, or maybe somebody just comes to you like this, and it gives you just, it, 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 it fills you, fills you with peace, brings you hope. Okay, let's see what we have here. So hope is on the horizon. Hope springs eternal. Okay, let's see what we have going on here. Okay, higher power and Holy Spirit, what else do you want to say to your Aries? To your Aries. Your Aries. What do you want to say to your Aries? Okay. Somebody else got this. I can't remember who though. But so if you cross, the reason I bring this up is if you cross watch and see the same cards, that's validation for you. Garden of the sun and moon. The change you seek may be outside your comfort zone. Ask for the strength to help you move forward. Okay. And I, and I told them too, the things I never ask for is patience, strength, or courage. Because whenever I ask for patience, I have to wait. Strength, there's, it's like, oh, this is so much. And courage, the same thing. So I ask for mercy and grace. But maybe you need to ask, you know, um, you know, I, if I'm supposed to change or if this is a good change, help me through this. Okay, help me move forward. How's that? Okay, higher power, Holy Spirit. What crystal would be good for Aries? What would be good for Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries. What would be good for Aries? Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Here we go. Malachite. Oh, I love malachite. Good with nature. Hmm. Helps you to stay grounded. It's also good for your heart chakra. Green stones, whether they be aventurine, malachite, um, green stones are very good for heart, but they're also good for your health. There's also good for love, believe it or not. I know a lot of people go with the rose quartz, but malachite is also good for that too. Heart chakra. Okay, here we go. Angel answers. Remember, these are the ones that are just for fun. But let's see what we have. What answer? What answer? So ask your question, my Aries. And let's see. What answer is there? What answer do you want to give to, to your Aries? To your Aries. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What answer to your Aries? Here we go. Reversed. Forgiveness, forgiveness, not an easy concept, but forgiveness frees you. Oh my goodness, it frees you. Anyway, my Aries, do me my favor now. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, whether you're watching me on YouTube or Rumble. It helps, I know, we always have to ask. Everybody that does a video needs to ask this because it helps. Please, please, please remember and always know, my Aries, that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.